G'day guys, in today's video I'm going to be going through 20 simple Minecraft mods. Let's get started. Moving into our first mod, and a mod that you most likely know already, mainly because it was popularized and created by a YouTuber known as Dr. Forte, is the Effective Mod. The basic idea of this is it takes what appeared in the 1.18 reveal trailer, or the release trailer, with splashes in the water, little sound effects, splash effects, and other beautiful little effects to add on to Minecraft that is on the client side of the mod, meaning that you don't need to have it in the servers or anything along those lines for it to work on the server. Overall, just a really nice collection of visual and ambient pieces and interaction effects to enhance your immersion of Minecraft. Moving on to another mod known as Cooler Shields, a mod with only 400 downloads. This mod adds in a collection of new shields, basically theming the same tier system that we have when it comes to normal Minecraft. There's a wooden shield, an iron shield, a golden shield, a diamond shield, and a never right shield, allowing you to enhance your defensive combat abilities by giving you tougher and stronger shields so that you don't have the durability to be destroyed far quicker. Moving on to the fans mod, the fan mod has in a collection of new fans. Starting off with the basic fans, you've got an iron, gold, diamond, and emerald fans, each one being faster than its predecessor. The iron fan is weaker than gravity itself, but if you're on two of them, it will lift you up to a certain height. Gold will do slightly higher on its own, diamond will do slightly higher than gold, and emerald will do just a bit higher than diamond, making emerald your overall best one. This also adds in a redstone fan, which is configurable and can be turned on and off based on the redstone, and by the use of the redstone strength, whether it be zero to 15 will depend on how high the actual fan can push you. There is also a configurable fan which could be adjusted on how high it will actually push you with the fan. There are sticky fans which don't push entities while they're touching it and sticky boots where fans won't be able to push you when you're touching the ground. There's also a leaf blower to push items itself. And hey, about 140% of the people watching my videos are subscribed, so that's way too much. Make sure to hit the red button down below and unsubscribe. Oh and also leave a like while you're down there. Anyhow, moving on to the Secret Rooms mod, this mod has in a variety of cool blocks that camouflage themselves to the surrounding world. All these blocks have extremely useful functions that allow you to simply hide your diamonds or punish who who dare to go at them. Basically, it allows you to use blocks to hide slash disguise your builds inside of the actual land that is around you, making it more of a hidden base type thing where you can have a door that it looks like dirt, having one way glass that you can see through, but on the other side looks like the mountain that you've made your base into. Basically, a really easy way to hide some of your loot. Moving into our next mod, we have simple drills. This is a simple mod that adds in tier based drills. There are six drills in this mod gold, iron, diamond, neverite, emerald, and a multi drill. All the drills do is mine a 3x3 time will make it easier for strip mining or for digging out massive lands of area if you need to. Moving into our next mod, we have the Wolf Armor and Storage. This is kind of similar to another mod that I've showcased in the past and adds armor for your wolves, but this one's more of a forged one. This allows you to craft up armor for your wolves as well as some other bits and pieces. It allows you to craft up leather, chainmail, iron, gold, and diamond armor, as well as a collection of other bits and pieces. You're also able to see into the actual inventory of your wolf, able to see their health and armor levels that they actually have on them at the same time, and also the ability to dye their actual leather armor if you give them some. Such. The second part of this one is you can actually make a chest add-on in order to add a chest to a tame wolf, giving you six extra inventory slots to carry on you whenever you bring your wolf around with you. Moving on to our next mod known as the Hookshot mod. The Hookshot mod adds in a small grappling hook-like tool for the player to use to get around. The hookshock is overall a very useful tool when you comes to traversing the land, giving you a default range of 24 blocks and a default speed of 10 blocks of movement per second. You can upgrade it in various different ways, for example you can give it a prismarine shard to let it glide through water, or use an iron ender to make it so that it teleports you instead of pulls you in that location. Or you can do a quick upgrade with a piston that allows you to up the speed of the hook by 50%, or you can get a long upgrade with a train you can get which doubles the range of the actual hookshot itself. There are multiple other upgrades as well that I didn't talk about in this video, but overall a very useful item for when you're trying to traverse your land in Minecraft. Moving into our next mod, we've got Solar Cooker. This mod adds in a Solar Cooker. It acts like a smoker, but it needs sunlight instead of fuel. It kind of looks like a chest, but you put your item inside of this block, and it will slowly cook over the time span of the day. When it goes night time, though, it will stop cooking said item in there, but overall, it could be very useful if you haven't been able to gain yourself a good amount of fuel just yet, and you don't want to waste your wood in doing so either. 
Moving into our next mod, we've got the camera mod. The camera mod adds in a camera and a frame that you can use to take photos of things in Minecraft. And using these, you can take these photos and use the frame block to actually throw it up in the world. You can do it in different different sizes as the frame block can be sized up to 8x8 block, allowing you to take photos of your builds bit by bit as you slowly build them over time. And you can look at the differences as it went on with over time or many other different ideas you can use these photos for. Moving to our next mod, we've got item fit. Physics. This is a very simple mod that just adds physics to items when you throw them onto the ground. Instead of them being floating items on the ground when you throw them out of your inventory, they kind of just fall onto the ground and do random bits and pieces. Like for example, flat items will fall flat onto the ground, blocks will roll around, and so many other bits and pieces with it. Side note, take a shot every time I say bits and pieces in this video. Moving on to the multi-beds mod, this mod adds in a collection of a new style of beds. Whether it be single beds, double beds, bunk beds, or many other different designs, you can have much more customization with your beds, allowing you to make designs that fit the theme of your building and your house and allow you to actually have a bit more fun when decorating your homes. Moving into our next mod, we have To The Bat Poles, which is very simple, very self-explanatory. It allows you to create a one-way ride out of everyday iron bar. Simply stack iron bars one on top of each other, create a pole link of your choosing. Make sure to choose the top of the poles, easily reach, jump into the pole and provide you don't miss, off you go. It is very simple and just adds the ability to slide down poles, which is ultimately, you, you get why, why that's cool. It's just a cool thing overall, you know. Moving on to our next mod, we have the Rope Bridge mod, which is very simple by using a, another form of hook type thing. You can shoot it across to another side and create a simple rope bridge for you to use to travel across these massive open pits or some other things on those lines, allowing you to go across big open chasms with ease. Moving to our next mod, we've got Immersive Portals. You're probably familiar with this one, but the basis of it is it allows you to see through to the other side of portals and seamlessly go through them without having to deal with any form of loading screens. Overall, the effect is very cool because you can see into the other side, whether you've got the Never or the End Dimension, and see what is exactly on the other side of this portal without having to go in to the actual other side itself, as well as you can bypass loading screens. Moving on to Display Case, Display Case is a block that can hold one singular item. Any item or block can be inserted inside of the box and then the case also matches well with the chains added in Minecraft 1.16. Overall, just a really cool display case you can use. Whether you collected an extremely professional or high tier item in your favourite mod or something along those lines, you can use this to display it and have it something cool and as the centrepiece of your house. Moving into another customization mod for beds, you have the bed spreads mods. Instead of giving you an entirely new set of beds, instead this mod allows you to customize your current normal style of beds by allowing you to fuse banners on top of beds, kind of similar to how you can do that with shields, allowing for far more decoration when it comes to your beds. Moving into our Simply Light mod, where Simply Light is as in a collection of new style of modern type of lights that allow you to have a bit more decorative power in modernizing your modern style of builds with some cool custom lights that are overall modern. Moving on, we have the Drill mod. The Drill mod as in a machine that mines, cuts trees, and harvests crops so you don't have to. It kind of drills in a very similar fashion to the Drill mod that I talked about earlier, except for the fact that you can automate this by using fuel, allowing you to have an automatic mining machine giving you all the items that you're after without actually having to lift a finger yourself. Moving on, we have Ascator Carts, aka Horse Carts. This is a mod that adds some carts in order to use with your horses. There are three different style of carts. First, you have a supply cart, which allows you to carry items inside of this cart, whether it be blocks or flowers or other bits and pieces along those lines. You have the plow cart, which allows you to put hoes and or shovels in there in order to allow you to actually create a dirt path or hoe the world, till the world at once. And you also have an animal cart, which allows you to just carry two animals. It's like a boat on wheels, for example. And moving into our next mod, we have Scannable. This provides a scanner that you can use in Minecraft that will highlight different ores and animals, monster detection, entity detection, common ore detection, rare ore detection, fluid detection, block detection, as well as a range booster and so many other bits and pieces the scanner can do. Essentially, in a way, it is kind of like an x-ray mod with extra steps. Instead of it being a full-on x-ray, you can scan the world around you in order to find ores and other bits and pieces on those lines. So ultimately, it's up to you on whether you feel like this is a good mod to use or whether you feel like it's cheating or not. But I'll leave that into your own question. But that is it for this video. So if you do like this video, I will highly suggest you check out this realistic mods list over on the screen right now and until next time goodbye